Uh, what's good, everyone? So I wanted to touch on this quick subject, um, and it's something that's only I became aware of uh, two days ago, yesterday or two days ago. So even I was out of the loop with it, and I, I like to think I'm in the loop with this sort of thing, you know, um, these sort of um, circumstances. Uh, excuse me. Um, it's not something I normally touch on on my channel. Um, for the five or ten people that view my videos, <laughs> you would know that um, it isn't a subject I generally touch on. Um, but this one is close to my heart because I was um, I was born in the Caribbean, came here as a, a young teenage um, kid. Um, I never have made this my home ever since. <clears throat> now, uh, I'm sure you guys, or I hope you guys, or some of you guys would have heard about the, the Windrush generation at some point. Um, heard it spoken about in our parliament and uh, heard the, the controversy surrounding the, uh, the people who uh, came from the Caribbean known as the Windrush generation. Came here in the 60s um, to make a better life for themselves. Uh, most of these people came here as uh, young adults, uh, teenagers, uh, youngsters, kids, um, and they've subsequently set up life, a life for themselves here in the UK. Now, the, Brit um, the, uh, the Caribbean was part of British, uh, Br uh, the Britain's uh, colonised uh, 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 countries, essentially. Um, the Caribbean uh, was a, uh, you know, essentially slave plantations for Britain and um, a, lot, a lot of other European countries. Billions of pounds um, were made off the back of um, slavery in the Caribbean. Right? Um, when slavery eventually uh, was abolished in the 1830s, around 1834 to 1837, um, and that's um, the transporting of slaves from Africa to the Caribbean. When, uh, when that was eventually abolished in the 1830s, like I said, 1834, between 1834 and 1837, uh, the slave were not compensated. Um, the uh, slave owners, 46,000 British slave owners, were compensated for the loss of their slaves to the tune of £20 million back then, which is the largest payout by a British government. I don't know if it's been topped, but maybe the bailout... Um, uh, it's been it's been higher than that, but since prior to the bailout, that's um, prior to the, 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 the government bailout uh, a few years ago, um, that was the biggest payout by British government um, ever, which I uh, said so twenty million pounds, which is about seventeen to eighteen billion pounds um, in today's money. I said that was paid out to the forty six thousand slave owners. Um, slaves were left to their own devices; they had their freedom. Um, and that was it. That's what they had. So you can imagine what the Caribbean would have been like for them there. They had, they literally had nothing. They were left to their own devices. They had to build from scratch, and uh, and so they did. Now the Caribbean has always never been a, a rich. It's, it's never been an affluent or rich part of the world. Um, it's great weather. Um, people see the sand and the sea, and they think, oh, it's great. And they often get the question. Most people who are from the Caribbean would normally get the question, why have you? Um, why did you leave? Why did you come here? You know, um, like I would leave somewhere that's, uh, you know, as beautiful as the Caribbean to come here if there wasn't a greater reason for doing so. Why would I leave such a beautiful island to come to the cold uh, that is the UK, the, 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 the snow and the, the, the horrible weather as we know it? And, and that's a fact, right? The weather in the Caribbean versus the weather in the UK is there's no comparison, right? Why would I leave that sort of lifestyle to come here? Um, well, it's, 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 it's the economy, it's the economics, uh, as, as we know it, right? This, um, as I said, the Caribbean's great for the weather and the beaches and the, and the sand and the, the, you know, the, the views and everything else. When it, if, you, if you're ambitious, for the most part, um, if you're really ambitious that this is not me beating up the Caribbean or playing anything down, um, you know, you're more likely to make a better life for yourself elsewhere. Hence why... A massive amount of people leave the Caribbean year in, year out to travel to Europe, uh, namely the UK, travel to America, Canada, to make a better life for themselves. The idea is that they can make enough money to then one day go back to the Caribbean to live a, a, a productive, fruitful sort of lifestyle. So that's why people leave. Now, going back to the Windrush generation, the reason these guys came in, and pretty much for those reasons, that's the reasons they, they came here. Um, and to see what subsequently, um, what has now happened to them, uh, like I said, I only heard this a few days ago that the 2nd of December, tomorrow, these guys are being sent back mainly to Jamaica. Now, these guys are going back for, any, for, for anything from petty crimes 
to not sign in the right um, immigration paperwork and forms that they needed to uh, all those years ago. Um, you know, and 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 whether you wherever you stand on 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 on, on this this on this, uh, it's it's for me. It doesn't sit right with me. It will never sit right with me. These people came here post post World War Two to rebuild Britain. We were invited here to rebuild this country. In fact, you know, you know, we were taken from the slaves, from, sorry, from the shores or from the from the continent of Africa, brought to the Caribbean. We didn't volunteer, or ancestors didn't volunteer to, to, to go to the Caribbean to work cane and sugar field and um, the, sorry, the cane field and rice fields. No one volunteered to be a slave. We're here because the Brit, uh, Britain were there. That's why we're here today. We're here because you were there. There is no other reason why, why we're here. So none of our ancestors volunteered to go to the go to the Caribbean to plant rice and sugar and be beaten to death, crushed on a boat, taken to the Caribbean by the millions, thousands of them dying. You've heard about the Zong massacre. You have to Google it to look up the Zong Z O N G massacre, and that will tell you everything you need to know about how treacherous it was making that trip from Africa to the Caribbean. No one volunteered for that. So we're here because you were there. People then subsequently left or leave uh, or volunteered to come from the Caribbean to the UK and, and they helped firstly, because they, they, uh, Britain was always sold to the Caribbean as being the motherland, the land of opportunity. So if you tell us this, this is a land of opportunity, we're gonna wanna go there. We wanna, you know, and people did that. People did exactly that. And can you blame them for doing that? No, you can't. You know, people did it because they wanted a better life for themselves. Their kids, they left kids behind because they wanted to, they wanted a better life for their family. See, that's essentially why they did it. Some of them subsequently came here and, and they've settled here for life. They've joined the military, have served in the military. People like myself have served in the military. Um, people have done tours and, and, and they're, 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 they're military veterans, right? They're, they're, they're just as much a part of the fabric of this country as anyone who was born here, whether you're white or black, right? just as much as part of the fabric of this country. Now, I understand that people would talk about, or people, or I understand the, the whole, uh, you know, you say, well, you know, they've committed crime, the people in that pack, uh, who come from other countries have committed crime, there's been an agreement signed by parliament that said, if you've committed, I don't know what crime it is, how horrendous crime has to be, but you, you should be sent back to where you come, where you came from. Now, um, I, I kind of see that, I could agree with that, agree with that 100%. You want a crimeless society. If you can live in a, in a society where there is no crime, which is frankly impossible, if you can live in a society where there is no crime, everyone did the right thing, that'd be perfect. Um, you know, so you know it's hard to argue when you, when when when, we, when that argument is put to, uh, put forward that um, you know if you if you've committed a heinous crime, uh, you wasn't born in the UK. If you've committed a murder or, or something heinous, then. You know, quite. I, I can't argue that you, people would suggest, yeah, you, you deserve to be sent back um, to, to somewhere where you were born or where you came from, whatever. Um, but we're not talking about that here. For the vast majority of these people, we're talking about immigration type offences where they they, have, they failed to fill in the correct paperwork. Uh, the same kinds of people who were actually born here. Um, petty, petty sort of crime as well um, thrown in there. So, you know. Where, where do we draw the line, you know? Where do you draw the line with this? So, you know, these people, you know, the suffering that's gone on in the Caribbean for all these years, these, you know, and then people that people don't know, but the picture that's painted of the Caribbean is one of, of, of oh, this beautiful, great place. Why would everyone want to want 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 to to leave this place? The reality of living there is somewhat different. Like I said, why would I move from somewhere so beautiful to come here and live here? The reality is somewhat different. These people are well-intentioned when they come here. They want to work. For the most part, everyone who come here, they come here to work. I know from, from, from growing up in the Caribbean, that's what we wanted to do. You wanted to you aspire to come to the UK or America, whatever. You wanted to work and achieve stuff so you could then give back and then create something. And, that, and that's what people, people people did. You know, when they came here, they were treated horrendously. You look at the Windwash um, documentary and you see how bad these doctors, or so nurses for the most part, were um, women who came from the Caribbean as nurses, but from Barbados, who invited it to come here as nurses, were spat on, were, were called the, the most horrendous names, um, and treated like crap. But they stayed and they fought because that's what's in our heart, and that's what we we, we came here to do. We're not, we're not one for giving up. If we got through slavery and the way these guys were treated, we're not going to give up by the, by being called names or being spat at. But they, they saw it through. These are good people. These are good people. They've done no wrong. They deserve to be here. They're part of the fabric of this country. 
just like anyone else who was born in fact more so for what we've given as slaves as our ancestors give to this country gave to this country as slaves the billions or maybe trillions of pounds made on the back of slavery that, that that supported this country a lot of the industries we know now today uh, were built because of the slaves that we had in the caribbean right and this is a history that people need to be taught if people are taught this history i think what's happening now the deportation of these people which should not be happening they're part of this they're part of the fabric of this country doesn't matter if they were born in the caribbean we were put in the caribbean right they were put in the caribbean they should not be deported none of these people should be sent back uh, i don't know it's probably too little too late now me doing this video um i hope someone sees it someone important sees it and something like something gets done the likelihood is probably zero um but it's for me it's appalling what's happening um it needs to be addressed these people should not be sent back um yeah to, to the caribbean they never most of them never lived there they don't, don't know jamaica don't know these people you know why is this happening in 2020 and they, they had they're brushing it under the carpet because we're also concerned with COVID-19 and rightly so but we're also concerned with COVID-19 the country's reopening uh tomorrow uh the 2nd of December um and everyone's tied up with that so that's going to be pushed to the side no one's going to know is I think this is deliberate it has to be deliberate no one's talking about it it's been pushed to the side this is happening on the 2nd of December when the country opens everyone's getting back into what they're doing people are going back to the pubs or whatever they decide they're going to do going to the gyms or whatever and this would be the furthest thing away from their mind so it's not in the public narrative it's not in the, it's not in the press it's not in, no one's talking about it so they could get it done tell me that's not deliberate anyway i've ranted on for 13 uh, 14 minutes um i hope someone sees this or someone resonates with what i'm saying i hope someone today has a better understanding of our plight, our flight, or, 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 or you know why, why, why we're here. You know, I hope someone has a better understanding. I hope one day that these his this history is taught in school. I hope that you know that's the only way this becomes normal is if, if this history is told, um, and everyone knows this history. It's not just this is not black history. This is British history, right? This is British history, and it needs to be taught. Anyway. Um, that's all I had to say on that. I went on a bit longer than I thought I would. Um, I hope something's done. I hope someone sees this video. And um, yeah, I, I'll see you guys on um, my next video. For now, take care and uh, please remember the Windrush Generation. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.